Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food where today we are going to be checking out this 24-hour field ration from Denmark. It's been a little over two years since I've done a Danish ration. I remember enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, a lot of the items are made by Orfo. A little bit similar to the British rations but it's got a few items from uh, some of the other rations. I know it's got a item in there. It's usually a Bridgeford product and uh, you know, I think it has a pack of nuts uh, by my uh, favorite company, which is uh, Nutwalker. But yeah, um, the print on here is uh, a little bit blurry. I know it's menu 22. It's got 3,970 kcals. I, I just don't remember what menu it is. I, I know it's a pasta dish. But uh, other than that, it had a tag on here. Got a Best Buy date, July 30th, 2020. That's uh, one reason why I wanted to do this. I got a Best Buy date coming up on it. And uh, yeah, it's also been a while since I've done a British ration. Like I said, these are kind of close to them. And I'm really excited to do this. Let's get this thing open. Got a lot of great items in here. Um, also, I did put this on the scale. It came in at, let's see, it was 1,626 grams or 3.58 pounds. Um, I could just try and... And tabs on here is glued on there pretty tight and the, the meals in here are pretty big but yeah we have a chicken with pasta and mushrooms 400 grams and uh let's see here yeah vesti foods out of the uk all right we have a fruit muesli with raspberries that, that sounds really good um, I'm trying to keep some of these in the picture. Um, yeah, the mains are uh, kind of coming out here on first on these. We have pasta with beef and vegetables. Also by Orfo, Voyager. Alright, snack items. I'm just going to just pile it up out here. Let's see here. We have a, looks like a strawberry blackcurrant and raspberry jam. We got two of those. We have, oh, blueberry. These are little fruit minis. I've had apple and let's see, strawberry. I've seen blackcurrant. These are blueberry. They're, uh, the flavor on them are really good. We have a fruit and fun, a purple cap. Um, let's see here. What is purple? Uh, purple is a raspberry blackcurrant. Oh, great. Got a lot of great flavors here. Protein bar, toffee flavor. And if I remember right, Oh, this one's good till 2021. There's usually one item in here that uh, is usually the protein bar. This is November. That has a Best Buy date coming up on it. Uh, let's see. Nutwalker cashew nuts, roasted and salted. Peanut butter and the Orfo peanut butter. It, uh, you really got to need those. Got a very, very beat up Orfo chocolate bar. Accessory pack. Open that up in a minute. Well, let's see. Drinks. We've got a peach drink. A cocoa flavored beverage powder. We have a lemon drink. Two packs of spicy sauce. A pack of raisins. A pack of whole grain biscuits by uh, Bisca. I've had those before. Just a uh, Oh, they're getting stingy. We only got, yeah, we only got one spoon. You usually get two. Oh, wait, never mind. I see another. And, um, what the hell? We have a Bridgeford sweet and sour soy whole wheat bread. Um, well, that sounds, uh, um, okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Um, September 14th. Um, let's see. That's everything in the box. We still have... Our accessory pack, a lot more items in here. All right, I'm just gonna dump these right out. And in the accessory pouch, we have two more spoons, a toothbrush. And if I remember right, there is like a uh, powder already on the toothbrush. We've got three packs. A V6 gum, uh, sweet menthol. 
three packs of salt. Got three packs of pepper. And let's see here, we have three antibacterial wipes, three toothpicks, we've got two black teas, and let's see here, we have three Colombian freeze dried coffees, and two packs of sugar. I thought there was usually three packs of sugar. I don't think I missed one, but no, just, uh, yeah, looks like just, uh, two packs of sugar. All right, then. That is everything. Let me get my tray, and, uh, I'll get breakfast ready. Okay, everybody, here is our breakfast. We have our fruit muesli with, uh, raspberries. Got our whole grain biscuits. Gonna have some peanut butter and jelly to go with that. Tea. Got our coffee and our chocolate beverage. Got our antibacterial wipe. And that's pretty much going to be it. First, let's uh, check out the muesli. If anybody's wondering. Ingredients. Got our cereal flakes, which is uh, wheat, oat, and rye. Skin milk powder, sugar, fat, and the fat is sunflower oil. Our fruits are apples and raspberries. Got milk proteins and caramelized sunflower seeds. I do, uh, glad it's got sunflower seeds. I like a little bit of texture in there, either the sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. But this is pretty much what it looks like. Got a lot of powder. I serve the flakes in there. It, uh, doesn't really smell like anything, but and just to see what the cocoa powder, I want to check out really quick. If I remember right, you smell this? Yeah, I think this is a, a hot chocolate mix or, or cocoa powder that uh, is not very, I guess you can say sweet. It does have some sugar in it, but not very much. In case anybody want to kind of see in there what it looks like. But to try and save some time, I'm going to get water for everything and get everything opened up. Get our biscuits ready because we've got a lot of. Uh, items to check out come on there we go but yeah we got a lot of items to check out and I want to try and save some time coffee smells pretty good kind of like a light brown not very dark freeze dried but yeah I'm gonna get some water and get everything opened up and get it ready be right back Okay, now that everything is about ready, check out our antibacterial wipe. It's kind of paperish, so it's probably going to be kind of flimsy. It's uh, pretty wet. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. Mm. Yeah, don't really smell anything, which is, which is the way I like it. But yeah, it's uh, it's just paper, but it does the job. Dries really quick, you know, just a few seconds. And our tea is pretty much ready. It's been a good five minutes. Okay, what to check out first. Let's check out these uh, whole grain biscuits. I've had these before. I really enjoy them. They're, uh, they're good and hearty. They are a little bit dry. But it has a good, to me, a good natural wheat sweetness to it and flavor. They're, they're very nice. And our peanut butter. Also, you get this peanut butter by Orifo. It separates really bad. It's like a natural peanut butter. You have to knead the crap out of it. It uh, seems a lot darker than normal. Yeah, the roast on that must have been pretty heavy because the uh, the ingredients for this is just uh, peanuts, dextrose, and uh, salt. Or peanuts, dextrose. Yeah, peanuts, dextrose, and salt. Man, it's really dark. Tastes good, though. And our, let's see, this is strawberry, blackcurrant, and raspberry.
Yeah, that's actually pretty good too. Usually to me, these are, the flavor is a little bit weak, but I've never had this flavor before, all three of the berries together. That tastes really nice. But let's get some peanut butter on there. That'll work. And some of our jelly. Everybody knows I love peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that's really good. All three of those go really well together. Let's check out our tea. I can't remember if I've had this one before. I think I have. It's just been a while. It's not too bad. It doesn't taste like a Ceylon tea. It tastes more like a maybe a breakfast or English breakfast tea. But it does taste good. We'll give our hot chocolate coffee drink a little mix there. Give it a try. Yeah, that came out really good. Not too sweet. Has a little bit of a dark chocolate flavor. The coffee flavor comes through a little bit. The hot chocolate just called for like 200 milliliters of water. And that's about how much I used and the coffee. Came out nice. And our muesli. Um, I want to pause it really quick, get your nutritional info there, but most importantly, uh, fully rehydrated. It's uh, 235 grams and comes out to 544 kcals for the entire pouch. There's the rest of your info there if you ever want to pause it and check it out. But yeah, definitely a lot of food. Just calls for 100 milliliters of water. I just used room temp water. And you can see it came out a little bit on the thick side. Which is nice. Get it all out here on the tray. If I can hold the bag properly. <laughs> Usually they come out a little bit thinner. But like I said, call for 100 milliliters of water. And that's what I used. And don't look bad at all. But let's check this out. Definitely a lot of cereal flakes in there. I can see some sunflower seeds. Don't really see any big pieces of fruit though. It is nice and sweet. The fruit flavor is a little bit weak though. Well, Here's a chunk of apple. Let's see how well that rehydrated. Yeah, it rehydrated pretty good. But overall, it has a little bit of a raspberry flavor. I wish it was a little bit better. But that this is nice. This is really good. And if I knew where I put the other pack of jam, well, why don't I just use this one? They give it a little more fruit flavor. That ought to help out quite a bit. Give it a try now. Yeah, it definitely gives it a more of a fruit flavor. I guess the next time I get some of these, get two packs of jam, I'm definitely going to put it in here with the muesli. Helps out quite a bit. But I'm going to go and uh, definitely finish this off, and uh, I'll see you at lunch next. Okay, everybody, here we are for lunch. We have our chicken with pasta and mushrooms. Got some spicy sauce to go with it if we wouldn't need some. Got a sweet and sour soy whole wheat bread sandwich. That just sounds so wrong. Roasted and salted cashews, some raisins, and a toffee flavored protein bar. Salt and pepper if we need some. V6 gum, and our lemon drink. But for now, Going to get our main and some hot water, get it started, and save some time because I know it's going to take a little while. I'm going to get our drink ready and everything out of the packages. Okay, here's everything ready to go. I'm going to check out our cashews first because uh, they actually look pretty good. They got a nice roast on them. And they do. I usually don't see cashews roasted that dark. They're usually a lot lighter. Salted just right. Good flavor. 
and our raisins. And yeah, they just taste like your typical raisins. Yeah, decent sweetness. They don't have the added sugar to them, which is what I prefer. Check out our protein bar. It looks like it took a little, I don't know, a little heat damage or just got beat up. It's um, a little bit gummy. Then it has a, a decent toffee flavor, a little bit sweet, but it does taste like your typical protein bar. Still pretty enjoyable though. I'll give our lemon drink a try. And if you're wondering, yeah, I'm trying to avoid that as much as I can. You know, one thing about Orpho, I've always enjoyed their drinks. It has a decent natural flavor. It's not too strong on a lemon. It's not too sweet, but it has a nice balance. Very enjoyable. And, uh, eh. <laughs> it's, uh, maybe the inside of this. It just looks weird. I think that's got a red bell pepper in there. I did look at uh, the ingredients really quick and, and just a whole lot of ingredients I didn't care for. To where it doesn't really smell like soy. You can smell the red bell pepper. It almost smells like it's got vinegar in there too. But uh, yeah, give it a try. And yeah, that is, um, <laughs> that just tastes weird. I mean, it has like a red bell pepper, onion, and besides soy, I guess you can say a soy sauce flavor. Um, it doesn't seem too salty. The bread's nice and soft, but yeah, um, the flavors are identifiable, but my stomach is like, man, what the hell is that? It's, it's okay, I guess. I mean, would I eat it out there on a trail for a snack? Probably. Would I be looking for it in the store to buy? Uh, no. Get our main. Out here in the tray. 400 grams. I'm not sure if it's all going to fit in the tray. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying the easiest way to do this. It is pretty toasty. All right, that'll do for now. Definitely a lot of food there. A lot of pasta. Um, ch chicken pizzas are pretty decent size. Looks like a mushroom stuck in there. You got a few small pieces of mushroom. Smells good, but uh, let's see how well the pasta is. Pasta is cooked pretty well. It just has a little bit of a bite left to it before getting like too mushy. And our chicken. And chicken's pretty good too. It's not dry. Decent texture. It's actual real chicken. And check out a few pieces of our mushrooms. And yeah, just your standard mushrooms. But yeah, the flavor of the sauce, it's a. Uh, it's hard to tell you can taste the onion and the garlic. It's very peppery. Got a nice little bite to it. Not spicy though. But a little bit of a peppery bite. Almost seems to have a little bit of a tang in there like, I don't know, lemon? I'm gonna try a little bit of our spicy sauce. It's just like a good old hot sauce. I'm gonna open this up without making a mess. Remember, yeah, it's a little bit thin. All right. Yeah, I can smell the vinegar from here. Yeah, it adds a nice little heat to it. Did it really need it? No, I think it's pretty good without it. I always do like my foods have a little bit of heat to it. But yeah, I'll definitely be finishing that. Let's check out our V6 gum. This is e, the, um, what is it? Yeah, sweet menthol. Get two pieces. And yeah, the gum is pretty good. I've always enjoyed the V6 gum. And uh, even though this one was the sweet menthol, it's not very sweet. 
It is very heavy on the mint or menthol flavor. And one thing I do like about it, you know, it lasts a good 10, 15 minutes. Really good flavor. But anyway, that's going to do it for lunch. Definitely going to finish the main. The sandwich, eh, it's just weird. It, it, it's okay. But everything else is really enjoyable. But that's going to do it for now. I'll see you at dinner. Okay, everybody, here we are for dinner. Got our pasta with beef and vegetables. Our chocolate bar. This is the, what flavor was this? The raspberry black currant fruit and fun. Kind of like a pureed fruit and kind of like baby food. Got our peach drink. I thought these were just blueberry gummies, but these are apple and blueberry gummies. Still haven't had them before. And uh, yeah, we're even going to check out the toothbrush. So let's get our... Uh, Main meal opened up here. Check it out real quick. Don't look too bad. Definitely see a lot of carrots in there. Um, kind of have a beefy smell to it. You can see the chunks of beef in there too. Um, let's see here. This is uh, after uh, rehydrating with uh, 280 milliliters of water. It's 410 grams. A lot of food, um, got a four or 528 kcals if you eat the entire meal. And there's some of the rest of your little nutritional info. A little bit on the ingredients naturally, you got pasta, you got freeze dried beef. Uh, let's see here, poultry stock, olive oil, spices. Uh, got some fats in there and it's a wine sauce. Uh, let's see, here's some of your uh, Vegetables are carrots, onions, and leeks. Got some uh, parsley, salt, pepper. Yeah, all kinds of good shit in here. But uh, like last time, I'm gonna get some water ready. Um, get all this heated up really quick. Get our drink ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, got our meal heating up. Drinks ready. Check out these apple, blueberry, little gummies. Oh, I think I dropped one. I did. They're uh, a little bit sticky. Very moist. They smell good though. And those are actually really good. Can't really taste much of the apple. You can taste the blueberry. A little bit sweet, a little bit tart. Those are those are really nice. All the other ones I've had are really good too. And check out our fruit and fun. This is only a raspberry black currant. Uh, I gave it a good shake, but usually there's a little bit stuck right in there. And sometimes it's even a little bit darker, a different color. No, it looks okay this time. That don't taste too bad. Even though it says raspberry black currant, the, the first ingredient is apple. But you do have a slight raspberry, you know, black currant flavor. Usually just, you know, you know, just drink it right out of the pouch. It's actually pretty good. You know, it's period. It's like baby food. Good stuff, though. And we'll check out our peach drink. And the peach drink is pretty good. I've always enjoyed all the Orpho drinks. Grapefruit being my favorite. I know a lot of people don't like the grapefruit. But to me it has the most natural flavor. Peach is pretty good. It's a little bit sweet. Pretty enjoyable. Okay, it's probably been a good 10 minutes. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it looked like it uh, thickened up really nice. Sure did. It's like a 280 milliliters water, like it says. Worked really good. Not sure if I'll get it all out on the tray. It's a lot of food. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? Never get an idea how much food's in here. There we go. <laughs> Just noticed the camera's fogged up really bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, maybe next time I should uh, try a little bit different angle for my camera. But yeah, believe me, there is uh, there's plenty of food here. It smells really good. Doesn't really smell too much like wine. Oh, let's see here. I think there's some leaks in here. 
and definitely smell onion carrots I think parsley you can see all the chunks of beef in here and since there's a decent one right here let's see how well that rehydrated that rehydrated really well now a little bit of texture to it tastes uh, a little bit more like ground beef but it tastes good carrots are good it uh definitely has enough salt but it's not you know overly salty but I don't think I'd use the spicy sauce it tastes like it really don't need it but I'd definitely use some extra pepper there we go see how much that helps out a bit I'm sure it will yeah it helped out quite a bit even the uh even the pasta still has a little bit of bite to it it come out really well okay check out our chocolate bar and the chocolate's pretty good it's not too much of a dark chocolate let's say maybe about 70 percent got a little more sweetness than bitterness to it it's still enjoyable though and last but not least check out our toothbrush The brush smells a little bit minty. And yes, it does have like a powdered toothpaste or fluoride on there. It is a little bit sweet. It's not very minty. It smells more mint flavor than it actually tastes. Cleans really well, but man, the flavor is just kind of weird. But yeah, that uh, that's going to do it for this ration review. I'm really glad I still had one of those left. I've done a Danish review maybe, I don't know, a little over two years ago. I think I got this ration maybe eight months ago, I think. I'm glad I did. It, it was really good. You know, naturally, you're going to have one, you know, Bridgeford bread item. And, yeah, it was pretty weird. But other than that, everything is really good. If you can get your hands on a Danish ration, I really suggest, you know, try it out. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this Danish ration review. Menu number 22. Like I said, really enjoyable. I'll definitely try another menu if I can find some more, but I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.